Welcome back to today's video. I'm Steph and this is my channel Knots and Needles and I am back with quite an exciting video because I think I might be entering my rap era and uh, my body shape is changing and I have future plans and I kind of want something that's going to grow with me for the next sort of like 18 months or so and I've been browsing patterns. I think my sewing mojo is coming back and I think I want to try something new. So we're kicking off with today's video with some wrap tops and I think these are fantastic because like during different parts of my cycle, um, my chest is that bigger or smaller and trying to get that fit sometimes is super annoying. Um, if you uh, are breastfeeding, I think wrap tops are fantastic. Or if you're pumping wrap tops, you can just whip one out, put it back again. Really like easy access. Um, I love the D, the V neck look. I think that looks really um, attractive. It's really clean, fantastic. I really love the design. And again, I like the fact that it grows with you. So like sometimes I'm super bloated and I just need something that's I don't always be wanting to wear a t-shirt or like my my blouses because the these ones are a wee bit oversized. Sometimes I do want to feel a bit, you know, just a bit more fancy, even though it may not feel fancy on the inside. So we're gonna kick off with a with a classic, okay? We'll go with mood, mood society, mood fabrics, and this is the P the Peony blouse. Now the fabric choice that they've gone with is very autumnal, but I think this is perfect for a spring summer top as well. Especially you could make the make it with the sleeves longer or shorter. Um, I do think there's quite a lot of uh, variability with the wrap tops, with how you can um, individualize them. And I think once you've made one, all these patterns start being a bit similar. This is made with a poly crepe that they've made theirs with. And the alternative recommendations are Velo, Velo knit, rayon jersey, and a bamboo knit. So knit fabrics. So I imagine you could make this with a cotton jersey as well. And so what do they say about this pattern? The peony blouse free sewing pattern is a quick and easy sewing project, allowing you to add a fabulous top to your wardrobe in no time. With a surplus neckline, full sleeves and banded bottom, it provides volume while sanctioning it in your waist for a flattering fit. Now, on the model, you can see a little bit of her belly. If that's not for you, um, you could then make the band slightly bigger or make the um, top longer as well if you still want that cinching in the band, you want a wider band. And they go up to a size 30, which for a bust measurement is 58.5. So if say you want this longer and you want the uh, the cinching part to maybe go more on the top of your hips, I'd recommend looking into pattern grading. So for me, I wouldn't want my belly on show and my belly would be slightly wider, my hips would be wider. So I'd probably make the band longer and I would then pattern grade it. So smaller waist, bigger band for my hips. Up next, in case you are not a fan of sewing with jersey, which I know not everyone is, um, I know um, stretch fabrics can be a bit of a pain to sew with, not gonna lie. We do have another classic and this is the peppermint wrap top. Now this is pay what you want. You can pay nothing or you can pay $20. There is a price range, it's entirely up to you. And there is a quite a few YouTube videos on this, which is why I put this in this recommendation video because um, some people do like bishop sleeves, balloon sleeves. So if there's like, you can follow along if this is one of your like first sewing patterns. I think this is a really good one to begin with because there are tutorials there. Um, so the garment details, this is a wrap top with cropped wrap top with three quarter length sleeves. It features a back neck facing and bust arts. Seems are finished with French jeans for a beautiful high end finish. So for me, this would be something that definitely is a little bit out of my comfort zone. I have done a French seam before, but it's not something that I tend to um, go with. My bust starts um, still need improvement. It's some, still something that I'm working on. So this, I think you don't have to get perfect because it's a wrap top. It would, I think, hide multitude problems, especially if you did it in a printed fabric. Um, so they do say it is suitable for advanced beginners and beyond. And again, it's with a woven fabric and I think the model is wearing it in linen, which I think looks really 
just really beautiful. Um, I wouldn't go with three quarter length sleeves because I like my sleeves long. I like to be able to like grab them, to, be able to put them in my jackets and stuff. Sometimes you find that they get like pushed up and that really irritates me. This one is way too long, clearly, and really annoys me. But that's my own fault because I stick everything in the dryer. So if you're printing this at home, it's going to be 35 pages or it's two A0 pages on the copy shop. Um, and this is available in 10 sizes from Australian size 6 to a size 24. Um, this has been on my list for a while. I do actually want to make this. And um, because, because so many other people have made it, like if you go on Instagram and search for it, you can then find out like the different hacks that people have done. I do really wish, like if you're a knitter or a crochet, um, there's a website called Ravelry and then people make pans, they put up pans and then people say, hey, I've made this pan and this is the changes I made. And then you can see everyone's different varieties. I do wish we had something like that for sewing. It's like one central hub of information where people say, hey, I made this pan, I made it out of this fabric and these are my sizes. But alas, that does not exist. And I do not have the technical wherewithal to do that. So <laughs> I will not be doing that. Next up is from Sparrow Refraction. Now her channel is simply amazing. I don't know why her channel's not bigger. She does so many free patterns, like tons of them. Honestly, I really feel like she should be way bigger than she is. And so she has tutorials for all of her patterns. So this is the ballerina wrap top. And this is made from a jersey as well. And it's just such a simple make. It just looks really clean. I really love the silhouette. I think she looks really amazing in it. And so the sizes um, go from a waist size of 23.5 inches, which is a 38 inch bust, up to a 42.5 inch bust. Um, so not the, the most expensive size range, but she's doing them for free right and i do think that um you could then try and make grade this yourself bigger or small i don't think it would be that difficult um again this is suitable for knit and stretch fabrics she even goes into like the maths of like if you have different stretch fabrics so if your material stretch is 25 percent she then tells you how much like fabric you need if your material has 50% stretch or 75% stretch or 100% stretch. Um, yeah, and she even has a video on how to test, test stretchiness. Like, amazing. Really, yeah, I'm quite um, surprised at like how much detail she's putting into these. Um, I just think it's a really cute pattern as well. Up next, we have the Flamenco dressmaking. So you do have to sign in with an email address and then the download link comes up straight away. And I've not seen this on like any like any blogs or anything like this. Um, and I just think this is a, such a fun pattern. Now, you know me, I'm not usually a huge fan of ruffles. I'm usually like, mm, no, no ruffles for me. So she calls it a wrap blouse. And um, whether you are into flamenco dancing or not, have one pattern for many options. You have um, just your standard wrap, again, nice simple, looks like it's made out of a nice stretch fabric, or you can add ruffles. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the sleeve ruffles, but I am a fan of the wrap ruffles because I just think they add a bit of volume. I'm not hugely blessed up top, so I like, I like sometimes having a little bit of ruffles to sort of balance out my hips a bit more. So this one I would like to make with the ruffles. Um, so she's like, this is a really easy pattern. You'll need a few pieces, the front, the back, the sleeves and ruffles if you like. There's no zippers, no closures, there's no lining, there's no princess seams. Um, you do need, uh, you've got bust starts, shoulder seam, side seam and your sleeves. And it goes from a size six to a size 16, which is up to a bust measurement of 42 and a hip measurement of 45. Yes, yeah, so I really, really love this pattern. And there's a lot of instructions um, because all of the pattern pieces, they're stored on Dropbox. So it's not your standard. Uh, usually you get it and it's delivered to your inbox. Um, so there's different sizes. Um, so it may, it may take a little bit to get your head around as well. Yeah, it's not an, it's not an embedded, um, 
embedded pattern so you have to choose your size and then go from there now last up i wasn't sure if i wanted to include this or not um i really because it's not a principle but i do think there's a lot of people out there who are way more competent than i am and um <laughs> you might be fine with creating your own patterns. It's something I want to get into because I want to start making stuff for my own body shape. I'm just a little bit scared. So this is the DIY Tied Linen Wrap Top by Col Collective Gen. This is a truly create your own. You are going to create a custom wrap top. So you're going to take a loose fitting shirt and trace around the back bodice panel. Um, wrap tops have a higher waistline so the shirt you copied the pattern from is too long you shorten it to find a new waistline and um, she's got a couple of diagrams on how to basically do this yourself and it doesn't look that difficult at all um, but I know a lot of people are like oh I don't really want to do this yourself um, so I think I may try drafting my own oh am I really to commit because it's made from a linen fabric, this one. This is why I like it. It just looks so beautiful. Um, I do think linen is such a timeless fabric and just looks so, you just look so put together. This one, particularly, I like the sleeves. I like the fact that I think I like elastic in my sleeves. I've never tried it myself, but I really like the look on the people. And what I like from this is when she's got it tied in the front, I just think it looks so pretty so beautiful i love the giant bow look the nice deep v i think with a high-waisted skirt this would go fabulous or um there's some trousers i recommended ages ago for their waist it's all shirred so i think that would just look really fantastic really classy um she's paired it with a ruffled skirt which you know me i don't do tears right um but she looks amazing absolutely amazing I think being able to create your own for like your own body size I just think would be super fun but that's it a really quick video today um, I hope you like this let me know if you like any of these um, I do think it's good to have a mix of stretch fabric and non-stretch woven fabric um, just because they will give you different looks I think I'm veering more to jersey um, a nice cotton jersey I think would make for a lovely wrap top uh, because I think it'd just be a bit more forgiving um, if you want something a bit of a tighter fit. Do I have any? No, but I do have some Pontaroma fabric, which I think would work out quite well. Mmm. I've been looking to do something with the Pontaroma fabric for a while and I have been struggling. Really struggling, not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't know what to do with it. I thought about making a circle skirt because I don't have a circle skirt. They're very easy to make. Oh, I can make a nice wrap top. Would I wear it enough? Hmm. Maybe quite thick though. It's quite thick. It'd be a bit more of a wintry make. Maybe I should just make trousers of that. I'm getting way off topic. As always, I get off topic. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.